Now I'm going to use my clock. I start putting it in the housing. Made it wood. Put rubber feet in the bottom. Look in the back of the circuit board transformer and battery holder. The battery holder fits three AA batteries and keeps the clock running in case of a power outage. Now all we have to do is put the batteries in here. It just stays in time. Watch this. When you had minutes. As you can see, by the way, the multiplexing let the numbers flicker. But the camera is too slow to see that. It looks like it's just turning on and off. Well, it does 100 times per second. But for real, you can't really see it. That's it.